Let's talk about SQL and NoSQL and why this is so confusing to people. So SQL, right? how does this usually look? When you think of SQL, you think of databases that have actually tables or a table format, right? You have rows, you have columns, that's it. And then when you query the data, here from the bottom, you query the data, you have the SQL language, the structured language, the structured query language, right? And then the NoSQL branch, how is the data structured here? Usually the data is not structured in the table format, right? You could have a key value store or you could have document stores, time series, databases, and so on and so on. Now, how do you get the data here? Usually this is with custom queries or a custom query language, right? Because the data stores are so different, you need to have a different language. So you need to understand there are two components to know SQL. It's actually the way how data is stored and how data is queried. Same thing with SQL. Data is stored in a table manner. Data is then queried in an SQL fashion with structured query language. Now, the thing is, nowadays, what people actually want to do is they are moving here. They're trying to make everything accessible through SQL. So this here will get X'd out as most as possible, or they try to X this out as most as possible, because it's always difficult to use a custom query language or more difficult. It's simpler. A lot of people know SQL. So they are trying to use SQL language to actually query the data from a no SQL store. So keep that in mind, having SQL query functionality to your NoSQL database doesn't make it SQL. It's this combination of having the table format and the language. This is usually what we call a SQL database or a relational database. I think people very often call this SQL database. So I hope this was helpful. I hope you learned something. See you in the next explain video. And by the way, hit the like button and subscribe if you like this video.